This classic American jackknife is the Jack Wolf Knives Big Bro Jack. And it is the big brother to the Little Bro Jack, which was the third release from Jack Wolf Knives. This is the April 2023 release from Jack Wolf Knives, and I believe this is number 11. Um, what do you have here? You have this nice, almost four inch long, uh, neutral sleeve board handle um, where you have an unequal ended uh, jackknife here. Uh, I love that it's got bolsters on both sides with the fluting, the singular flute, and uh, is just really comfortable in hand. Um, this is something that I've really gotten from uh, my exploration of Jack Wolf knives is they really stress the ergonomics of these classic designs and these classic patterns. And how do they do that? They do that by making single bladed knives. As soon as you have another blade uh, tucked away in the handle, but still protruding out, you miss out on the true ergonomics of the handle. And so, um, you know, from his gun stock to his dog leg, I, when I say him, I mean Ben Belkin, the designer of these Jack Wolf knives. Uh, all of those knives really accentuated the ergonomics. Here we have totally neutral ergonomics and they are great. They feel great. Uh, no matter what grip, no matter what orientation, you aren't going to have to use them like this, but if you did, they'd feel good. Uh, no matter how you're holding this knife, it, it feels just as good as any other grip. It is totally neutral. Uh, let's look at this handle. You have uh, these integral liner bolsters. So each uh, liner is uh, milled out from a single piece, and then the bolster is a part of that. Uh, it's not soldered on like uh, like a case knife or like many other knives out there where they have a liner and then and then a soldered on bolster. Uh, here you have the double bolster. You've got the fluting. Uh, this hardware here removes this the handle cover, and then underneath you'll have screws and pins. Uh, for the guts of this. Uh, and then here's your pivot. So you can take this thing apart if you want. Uh, immaculate on the inside. I know that's something that a lot of um, aficionados of slip joints look at is how the inside is done. So the inside is done beautifully here, which is no surprise. Ben Belkin has an incredible uh, collection of custom slip joints as well as other uh, limited release production models. Uh, so speaking of limited release production models, as these Jack Wolf knives are, uh, it has been determined that the ones that sell the most are the fancy uh, uh, camo carbon and, um, and fat carbon handles. So th this is the last model to uh, feature micarta in the handles, handle scales, uh, handle covers here. And I'm very uh, pleased and honored that Ben sent me one of these, uh, knowing that I like my Carta. Uh, thank you, Ben, for sending me this. Uh, I really appreciate it. This really, I say this every time, but I, I gotta, I gotta, I think this is my very, very favorite. It is my favorite pattern uh, and my favorite size. So those, those come together uh, to mean something special. If you know uh, my Great Eastern Cutlery selection, I love the, the number 15. And this is like a number 15. It's also like the number 86, which I'll show you here in a second. And those are two of my favorites. And this kind of emulates that, but different category with that action and with those builds. Uh, I understand why people sequester them from the rest of their slip joints. I do too, but that's only out of... Uh, you know, space management, but some people consider these to be in a different category than other slip joints. And it could be because they are made to such exacting standards. Um, each one, man, listen to that. Great walk and talk on this. Now something uh, slip joint guys look for 
is a flush spring on the half stop. And then of course, it's gotta have a flush spring here and uh, when closed as well. And man, this is just a fun knife to open and close. Whoever said you couldn't fidget with both hands uh, didn't try. Did I mention full height hollow ground S90V blade? I'm not sure because I've tried to shoot this video a number of times and now I don't know what I've said. <laughs> uh, but very, very sharp. Look at that sharpening notch. Look at how many, how, how much life you could get out of this blade. And it's so hollow, so thin. You could sharpen up all the way to the top of that and have a slender, skinny blade um, and still have a very slicey, slicey blade. It is so thin behind the edge, almost all the way down, that you could sharpen to the top of that notch. I love the way that notch is done. Very, very nice designs and design eye from Ben Belkin. Uh, let me show this with a couple of other knives. Um, I'll start with off-grid knives. Uh, two really, really, here, well, I gotta show you with this one first. Two really, really, really great favorites of mine. This is the Little Bro, the Little Bro. Now, this is a little bit more like the size of a GEC 15. Um, it's got a three and a half inch handle. So it's only a half inch. Yeah, I remember Ben saying that when he was on Thursday Night Knives. It, it's not much of a size difference between the Little Bro and the Big Bro. But man, does it feel different in hand. It really does. Uh, this is like you've got a big knife in hand, and this is like you've got a, you know, a capable, smallish knife in, in hand. Awesome knife. Also, love the micarta on this one. And then last of the Jack Wolf comparisons, another micarta. This one is the Benny's Clip, uh, Ben's take on the Lanny's Clip. And this is the only one that doesn't have a full height hollow ground uh, hollow ground blade of any of them, uh, like a traditional Lanny, Lanny's like a traditional Lanny's clip. It only comes up so far. Beautiful blade, audacious. This is another handle that just does not quite accept oil. Another thing with these Jack Wolf knives, they all come with these incredible leather pouches and on the inside of course is suede so if you oil your micarta to get it nice and dark and then put it in the in the suede pouch th that suede inevitably soaks up the oil so at some point we'll hit a critical mass so this uh, I, I show it with this because it's about the same size slightly smaller in the blade but uh, you get the idea this is the biggest knife uh, that jack wolf does and this the smallest all right uh with a couple of gecs here it is with maybe my favorite slip joint knife uh besides the sentimental ones that my grandpa gave me and it's all because of that cover well it's not all because of that cover but i love these covers especially that one that to me is just stunning uh but this is the gec 15 this is the farm boys knife so this one has the um, the clip point, and then it's got a really nice spay blade. I need to flush these out, these pivots, and get them snappy again. I've used these a lot. Uh, but here, let me show it with the, the clip point out. And then here it is with the number 86. I uh, love this knife. It's very similar in that it's got the sleeve board pattern. It's got the double uh, bolsters. It's got the very nice clip point blade, total fingerprint magnet here. And I love this one. It's got a uh, that tortoise shell. I got my brother one of these uh, when I bought this because he's the one who gave me my love of tortoise shell. I think through guitar pick guards and such, uh, but also old bric-a-brac love it but here's an example of a protruding blade that uh you know it's not too bad but it does change the the contours but here it is that's about the exact same size about 
give or take. A, give or take a skosh or a titch, uh, but about the same. My brother uses his all the time, tells me that's a great utility knife. Uh, I don't, you know, I carry my, uh, my slip joints on a wide rotating basis, especially the GECs these, these days. I've been mostly all about the Jack Wolf knives for the past year. So, um, yeah, this one's a hard one to kick out of my pocket. I think when all is said and done, this is probably, well, I guess I got to refrain from saying that, but this is so well done. And I don't know who the company is that builds these for Ben. Uh, he's contractually obligated to not divulge such information, but they do a freaking amazing job. Amazing job. And Ben uh, does an awesome job. A, designing these knives, and B, running his business. He's a he's a uh, inspirational guy. You should check him out. All right, this is an inspirational knife. This is the Jack Wolf Knives Big Bro Jack. Check it out.